Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode of Rigged Up Fishing. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and joining me out here on the water. As you can see, just a beautiful, clear, crisp morning, man. Just absolutely gorgeous out here today. Um, thankfully, I'm off today. The weather is cooperating. The only thing I'm concerned about is bluebird skies, but hey, we're going to make the most of it. I'm going to try to get on a topwater bite with a buzzbait and a frog this morning while we still have some lower light conditions. I'm going to start right here at the boat ramp. Um, but man, I really hope we can get on some today, guys. I've been craving a really good topwater bite, but hey, I'll take whatever we can get. We're just going to make the most of it, man, and enjoy this weather today. Today is Wednesday, May 18th. It's uh, right at 6.30 in the morning. I'm off of work today, thankfully, and gosh, it's just such a pretty morning. Right now it's like 60 degrees. Absolutely gorgeous, man. I saw something lost over here. Let's try this frog. Oh, yeah. There we go, guys. There we go. Oh, my gosh. No. No. Oh, no. No. I was not expecting that. No, 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 no. This is actually a brand new frog I got. It's, um, I have a frog, the same frog, but this is a different color. It's that River to Sea Bullywa, the smaller size. This is, I believe, like the Little Allen color. It's just got that bright belly on there. I figured I'd throw that since it's been storming quite a bit lately. The water might be a little dirtier. And plus, sometimes that bright color, man, just gets them fired up. Oh, there's one, guys. Got him. Good fish. Good fish too, guys. He chucked it. There we go, baby. There we go. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I'm talking about. God, I've been waiting for this for so long. Whew, good fish, baby. Good fish. Solid. Not huge, man, but man, she put up a fight, son. Look how she ate that thing, son. Frog fishing. Yes, he won't come off. That's for sure. Good, baby. Nice little two-pounder to start the day. Man, she fought hard too, son. Thank you, sir. Get back there. All right, guys. Let's toss it back in there. God, it does so fun. Whew, I hope we can get on some of those today. Guys, I'm throwing my frog. I'll, I'll link everything I'm using in the description as far as my setups go. If I'm able to get some good uh, hookups here on the frog. On my buzzbait, I'm using a 7.3. 
honestly, I probably would use the one my rod for buzz bait on a frog. But this one works just as well too. It's a seven foot heavy Dobbins Champion HP. Champion Extreme HP. Um, and it's just a great all around, do everything with that you need with like braid, flipping, frogging, just anything pretty much. So I was trying to do pull out that knot there. But yeah, it's just an all around great. Oh, there's another one, there's another one. God, dude, they're much in this thing. Good night, that's bigger, dude, that is bigger. Fighting hard as heck. Dude, let's go. Guys, I can't make this up. They are pushed up here on this wall, just absolutely munching this frog, baby. Another solid fish. Oh man, I love it, dude. I love it. Another two and a half pounder, probably. Freaking go, baby. <laughs> she was mad, son. God, they fight so hard, dude. They are munching, baby. They are munching this thing. Thank you, Jesus. I've been wanting to get on a frogfish so bad. Hopefully, we can run across the big mama. Let me pull this line out from where. Guys, what I'm doing here, whenever you set a, a hook in a frog or something, whatever you're doing with braid, a lot of times that line will get, will dig in. So just kind of pull it out a little bit and reel it back in. Honestly, I think that one was a little bigger. some grass or limb or something. Decent fish too. Oh, whoa, whoa. She'll go about four pounds. Let's 
you guys? Huh? About three and a half. Yeah, right at three and a half pounds. I was thinking a little bigger than that, but hey, I will take that all day, baby. Thank you, sir. We're getting on some quality fish today, guys. Haven't got on any huge ones yet, but most of them have been like quality. Alright guys, so unfortunately I had to take that frog that I had off. I don't know why, but it was sinking down. Couldn't find any holes in it. It wasn't really holding a lot of water. I, just, I don't know, but anyways, tied on this other frog I have. It's a live target frog. It's got that bright belly on the bottom of it, so I'm thinking that hopefully this will work as well. Because um, I really feel like that color might be playing a role in the bites today since the water is so dingy and stuff, but... Man, I'm kind of bummed about that, dude. My first time using that frog, they were absolutely choking it. And I have several other frogs. That brand, man, they've always held up really good. I don't know what's going on with it. And I did tie it up on my other rod. I've never caught a frogfish on this rod, so I'm really wanting to try it out. Filming. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh man, guys, let me recap what just happened. <laughs> I came back in this little corner here. Throwing this frog. Didn't even think I was going to get bit, so I didn't start recording yet. Never really had luck back here, and um, <laughs> my SD card's getting kind of full, so I wanted to save as much as I could. And dude, he hammered it, son. That was, it's not even the biggest fish of the day, but probably the biggest blow up of the day, honestly. Fighting so freaking hard, man. Absolutely beautiful fish. Thank you, sir. Nice little two pounder right there. God, I love frog fishing. Get on back, buddy. For this frog. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, dude. Dude, that was freaking awesome. so much fun. Come here, buddy. God, dude, look at that, guys. Look where those hooks are, man. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> oh, I love frog fishing. Thank you, sir. Probably a one and a half pounder. <laughs> oh, so much fun walking it right through that grass. I guess I just have to say something about it and then they'll bite it. Is that a crappy? Guys, just switched up to the chatterbait. Out here on another grass line. Got us a little chatterbait fish here. Oh, that's a bass. A little bass. 
Thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Hopefully we can get on some bigger ones here shortly. Guys, I just picked up this swim jig. Skipping it under this dock here. Didn't think I was going to get one on it. Sure enough, it had me a bass. Came off though. We'll give it a few more casts under here. Not likely that he'll bite again though. That's just crazy, man. I was skipping that wacky rig under there. And he wouldn't touch it. Try that one more time, that wacky rig. Now that I know the one's under there. I knew there had to be fish under there. Oh, that's a fish. I got one. I got a fish. There he is. Oh, that's a crappy. Kid from night, dude. That's a big crappy. Holy cow. That's a slab, guys. That's probably what it was under there. Big fish. Yes, sir. There we go. I think that's the one we lost earlier. Oh, man. Fight so freaking hard, dude. He's hooked so weird. Oh no, it's just gone. Dude, this fish fought so much harder. <laughs> Making me think he was bigger. But hey, dude, that is a solid fish. God, dude, they are so mean out here, bro. They are so mean. Another two and a half, close to three pounder probably. Quality fish today, boys. That might have been the one that we lost earlier, guys. Came back to the same spot because I wanted to see if she'd bite again. I'm pretty sure that was her. God, dude, the way that fish was fighting, dude, I was thinking it was four, pushing four or more. It's just insane how hard they fight out here. All right, where are you supposed to be?
God, dude. That's a big one. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Thank you, Lord. Another two pounder, guys. Another solid fish right there in the noggin. Another two pounder, thank you, sir. Guys, that is going to conclude it for today's video. Man, we had an awesome day out here on the water. Um, right now, it's a little afternoon, the sun is super high, and getting really toasty out here with hardly any wind. But we spent about six and a half hours out here today, man. And we had a fun top water bite. Uh, caught, caught several on the frog. That was definitely the bait of the day. Caught some on the Texas rig. Caught some on the wacky rig. And we caught some on the chatterbait. So, man, we had us a fun day out here. We didn't catch any giants today. But we sure did catch a lot of quality fish. Quality fish being like that two to four pound range. So, man. I'm pumped. I can't wait to get back out on the water again, hopefully within the next few days, depending on the weather. I hope you guys have had a great week and have a great week coming up. Thank you so much again for spending part of your day with me here on the water, coming on the another fishing trip with me. Thank you again for your support. Hope you guys have a great one, and remember, stay ripped up.